Hello and welcome to Athos Primitive. You're hanging out with Miser and this is going to be our first look at this brand new game. Came out just yesterday, October 9th, and so I'm excited to give it a try. I'm going to hop over into the settings, nighttime. We're going to put it five. I don't like it to be night too much just because it's dark. That's for recording purposes. If you like it to be night, go ahead and put it a little bit longer. Uh, XP multipliers. I don't want to get cheesy, but let's do two. I want to move up a little bit quick. We'll save five minutes is fine, I guess. Dino damage multiplier. We'll leave that at one. I think we'll leave everything else besides the XP at one. Okay, and we'll do a single player game. Enter valid world name. Okay, let's do Mizland. Okay. All right, so we have our guy to choose from. I see we don't have a choice of hair. So it looks like we get what we get and we don't throw a fit. That's fine. Got some sick tats. And since I'm a dude, I will be Mr. Miser. Don't you forget it. Uh, eeny, meeny, miny, mo. I don't want to be on an island. Catch a tiger by his toe. Let's do west. West seems good. Oh my god, look at those flowing locks. I am beautiful. Alright. So, just like any survival game, you pick stuff up right off the ground. This is pretty simple. 2 XP just for picking up an item. I like that you can see it right on the screen. That's pretty cool. Okay. Let's open up our UI and take a look here. So, we got our inventory, our crafting... Okay. Oh, we don't need much to craft a stone hatchet, so that's good. We're going to need fiber. We need the wood mallet now. On this side, we have our health, our energy, our max weight. Okay, so each item has a weight. Alright, first thing that I don't like in this game, I can't drag this item in my inventory. Sometimes I like to sequester certain items off to the side so that I can either pay special attention to them or, you know, use them for, for a certain purpose so I don't lose them, whatever. And I can't do that. So the only way to get it into your inventory is to click it and then you don't get to choose what slot it goes into. It goes where it goes. So, okay. Uh, each weight has... A max of 150, that's fine. I see some available points. Available points here. We'll use the fire straight away. Fires are always important in a survival game. Oh. I guess if you use the points in these items over here, you don't get to put points into your attributes. Okay, uh, base damage, carry weight of the character, agility is critical damage and base armor, stamina affects the stock of maximum health and health regeneration, intelligent affects the base damage to ore vines, veins also, vines is spelt differently, and then luck, chance of critical damage. I think... Strength and agility are the most important. I'm going to put two in each of these and wait to make anything else. Although a spear would probably be nice. Okay, let's find some... I need wood and fiber. Wood and fiber. Can I hit things with my mallet? So it gave me a worm, a red berry, 
And some fiber. Perfect. Okay. Sweet. You get berries right off the ground. Easy peasy. We got 17 cloth. Okay, so I... Okay. So if you go over, I went to 18 instead of 17, and it just did not give me anything at all. So make sure that you stay underneath the amount that you're carrying when you're trying to craft. And it looks like I just got another level, so that's cool. A shirt. Do we really want to cover up that sexy physique? I think the answer is yes. We'll put pants on first, though, because I think pants are more important. I don't want my dangly bits getting bit by a dinosaur. So... Oh, okay. On the bottom right-hand side, right after the zero slot in the hotbar, you see LBM to eat. Left mouse button. And what am I eating? What am I eating right now? So, I think I'm eating the green berries. I'm trying to watch my stats to see what's going up. Yes, green berries. And then those are sleep berries. And then blueberries, which do... What do they do? Some water. Thirst, and then plus five hunger. Okay, so bottom right-hand side stats, you got heart plus health. Lightning bolt is energy... The tiny chicken, I am assuming, is dinner time. I mean, uh, hunger. And then down below, it looks like that is our water meter. And then followed directly to the left by a temperature gauge. If it only gets down to 64 degrees, this is a beautiful island to vacation on. I'm just saying. <gasps> a dinosaur! Let's go meet him. He's running away from me. He can sense my crazy dinosaur lady energy. I mean, man energy. Parasaur. If I say any of these dinosaur names wrong, don't judge me. <laughs> How come I can't ride him? Thought we could tame them. I want to tame one. Okay. You know what? Taming you later. We need a hatchet. We need... Flint and wood. How do we get flint? Like that. Oh, this is a handy hammer. Look at all that. What is that? What is this? Iron ore. Ooh. So, since I can't move them, I think I got to... What did I do with my food? Oh, no. I just dropped my green berries, but I don't see them on the floor. Okay, you know what? That's something else I don't like. I don't like that my my little green berries just bounced. I do like getting ore from this, though. All this stuff. I love a good game where when you're mining or foraging or whatever, you get multiple items. I feel like it's such a waste of time when you have to go to one at a time. How long is this going to take to break? Ooh, look at all the levels I'm getting. Showing this rock who's boss. Alright, that took a super long time. Netted us 48 iron ore, 25 flint, and a crap ton of rocks, which is nice. Okay, let's take a look at our profile. Max weight is 210. Ah, here. Okay. And we have no tokens. How many levels did we go up? We're already at level five. This is going up so crazy fast. All right, so thatch bed. So I wonder if we can sleep through the night. Get some walls and foundations. All right. I know clothes are important, but so is housing. I like that everything is like three points, maybe six for some mortar and pestle. 
Oh, so we can build multiple floors. Okay. All right. So, so far these dinosaurs seem pretty nice. Uh, that one did not try to bite me, which I appreciate. Let's chop down this tree. It looks like we get thatch and wood from chopping trees. Collect some more of these with the berries in here because we're going to need to eat. That food is going down super fast. This is the type of game that hoarders really love because in this type of game, it pays to pick up everything off the floor. Especially because for every item you pick up, you're already getting points, so... Double bonus. Walking kind of fast there, buddy. I'm a little paranoid about the dinosaurs just because I don't know what to expect with them. And I don't want one to bite me in the ass, so. All right, let's put a door. So we got a foundation, a bed, a wall, a wooden crate to store goods in. I like wooden crates. All right, let's just keep going. You know what we want? A stone axe too. So we got a fire. We don't have a fire. Okay, fire. Craft. We're crafting everything today. 20 thatch and five cloths. So we're gonna need a ton of cloth. How much? We've got 40, so we'll take it up to 39. And we'll let that just stew in the inventory menu. Four is eat. We're gonna just chomp on some of these berries. These water? Oh no, they're water. Darn it. Wrong ones. Every hoarder's dream. Now here's the biggest problem with not being able to move stuff around in your inventory or heart, hot bar, heart bar, with your mouse. Because I can't move these, and because last time I clicked the green berries, the green berries went bye-bye, I'm scared to click this so that I can move my other items down where my hand is readily at, which means I'm going to have to put it in six, seven and eight which i have to move my hand for it's going to be harder to get to these and especially the spear you know what i'm actually going to trade the spear and the mallet just because the mallet's not quite as important as the spear is going to be a spear i need for killing dinos i shouldn't say that so happily should i all right so I'm just going to run around. I'm going to take a look. It Time is here. It's 1500. Minus 12. 1600. So it's 4 o'clock in the afternoon. I'm not good at the 24 hour clock. But I can make do. I think I just saw something tiny over here. Nope. So far these guys are all I'm seeing. And they seem nice. I don't want to kill them. Because if I kill one of the nice ones, what if they all get mad at me and try to murder me and my luxurious hair? I don't know. I, I don't know if it's a good idea. Hi, buddy. Doesn't look like we have a map. I don't see anywhere for maps. Tab just pulls you out of the menu. Ooh. Gold! So I leveled up. He fixes this guy. Nope, he doesn't do anything. There we go. This comes from Conan, where if you use a specific item on a specific resource, it could change the resource that you're pulling from the item you're killing. I mean, destroying. Thank you, Conan. 
All right, so what is this? This looks like shark teeth. Oh, here. Crude salt used in crafting. I have never seen salt look like this before. This is like the rocks. It just goes on forever. I'm going to have all the salt I need. 158 salt out of those two. Holy cow. If I need any more salt... I'm never going to need more salt. That's all there is to it. Alright, it's already starting to get dark. Let's set up a fire. So nine. I don't know if I want to set it up here. I'd like to find a better spot to set it up. Although they're really cheap. I, I guess it doesn't matter. Ooh more salt that we don't need. I like this area. It's kind of protected. Okay. How do you... How do you turn it on? It's a fire. It's supposed to have fire. <laughs> I literally don't know how to work this thing. You, most, most fire pits in video games work exactly the same way. I'm never worried about how I'm going to... What is that? 100... I don't know what that is. I'm never worried about how I'm going to get the fire working, except in Green Hell. Green Hell's fire is a little bit challenging, but I have no idea what to do with this. Maybe it's just because I don't have anything to cook. I don't have any fish and I don't have any meat. Yeah. Well, I thought it would... I thought it would fire up and I would have some warmth because the temperature you can see on the on the right hand side is dropping. It's gone from 77 to 64, but I guess not. Let's let's make some clothing. Could have sworn I already made pants. And I don't have enough to make a shirt, but I have more fiber. Three left, and it's ten, so we need seven. There we go. I can do math! I didn't even use all my fingers. Okay. So click, and it goes exactly where it's supposed to. That's easy enough. And then our shirt. What else do we have in here? We have 13 points available. These are shoes, gloves, and... A cloth covering headgear but box is important clay mortar and pestle preserving salt refined salt more building stuff as somebody who really really enjoys building in games I want to do these I want to do the roof pieces and the windows and all the little slanted bits, but I think that it's probably not as important as some of the other things, like the water skin. Uh, but you need the well. Empty water skin you can fill at a well, and then the well is six points, and that's going to put us over. Bandages. Dude, you scared me. Okay, back to contemplation. So what is this? A wall torch. A torch that mounts the wall. Okay, self-explanatory. Standing torch, a simple bed. I just made a thatched bed. I don't need a simple bed. I'm a simple gal. I'm going to make five more fiber so that I can make a bed. And then I'm going to see if I can sleep. I need one more. Looks like we're going out to get some more. 
What time is it? Oh, wow. Okay. It's not that bad. I thought it was going to be way darker. If I turn my gamma up, I'd probably be fine. Fiber 15. There we go. And craft the bed. Okay. Where can I put it? Oh, it's going to make me build it on a... On a structure, isn't it? So if I go six, then can I hit a menu? No. Okay. Oh. So building... Thatch foundation. I need 25 thatch. The thatch is the yellow one that looks like hay. Eight wood and 16 fiber. I don't have any of that. Okay. I am going to run around and do that gathering I was talking about earlier. And then once I've got a little bit of resource built up, I will come back and build some stuff. All right. I have done a crap load of gathering and I've got a good bit of resource set, not anything crazy. Oh, I should probably put that on instead of just carrying it around. But I've got enough to handle what we need to do. Now, something I noticed, again, with the Conan thing, if you use different tools on different items, you get different things. And so I was testing it out on this after the salt thing. If I could actually just poke this. Ugh, oh, my skills. There. This gives you the normal, the same thing that an axe would give you. Three thatch, one wood. The mallet gives you just wood. No, it does. It, it was just giving me wood earlier, but it only gives you one thatch, two wood. Ooh, that one gave me four. The pickaxe, however just gives you thatching. So different resources from the same item using different tools, which is kind of cool. Depending on what I need, I can gather it faster by kind of focusing what I'm getting. So let's do the same thing here. The pickaxe, I'm getting a ton of flint with the spear, lots of flint, a little bit of stone. With the axe, I'm getting just stone. And with the mallet, just stone as well. Okay. It's really good information to have, especially if you're trying to build a gorgeous house like we are going to be building in just a minute. It's important to know where to get your resources from, so it's a big deal for me. Again, second thing that I don't like uh, is has to do with the inventory stuff. It doesn't light up or give any indication of what you're holding. So if you are holding something that doesn't have anything animated in your hand, I don't know what I've got and my fingers don't always go where they're supposed to go. I don't know about you guys, but they kind of have a mind of their own. I would like it if it had some type of a indicator for what is being equipped. There you go. All right. So I've got resources. We're going to do a little bit of building. I don't know how this crafting thing is going to work. So let's. Oh, interesting. You craft your items in the menu. I'm going to have to say it. This is probably the second thing I'm not going to like. <laughs> or third. It's the third thing. All right. Let's see. How close can we get this? All right. 
I'm not a big fan of crafting in a menu and then setting items down because then you wind up with excess items that you don't need. I'm going to need so much thatch. It's going to be ridiculous. It's time to get that pickaxe out and go thatching. Okay. Looks like it locks in. Maybe it doesn't lock. There it goes. I was scared for a second. All right, time to get more thatch. All right, I was grabbing some thatch. As you can see, I've been building pieces and my stone pickaxe broke. I've got a little icon up in the corner now, but I don't see any way to actually fix it and the second most frustrating thing because i could just drop this and just run on to the next stone pickaxe they're not that expensive I, I literally have everything that i need to make one i just have to do it the most annoying thing is i can't even drop this thing i can't get it out of my inventory thank goodness that this is going to be so long this tons of spots here because my inventory is probably going to be filled with broken tools. Either that or I'm going to have to have a wooden crate just for my broken items until I figure out what to do with them. So if anybody plays this game and you know what to do with the broken items, please let me know because that is going to get really irritating. All right, let's run back. I run so slow. This is how I run in real life. Alright. And... I like it. It's going to be a cozy little area. It's going to be pretty... I mean, I had noticed this huge hole here. That might be an issue, but it's more like a window, really. I'll put something here. Maybe a secondary outbuilding. And that'll block off this way. And then maybe a gate or something here if I can. That would be really cool. And then I'll have this almost completely protected courtyard. A beautiful window to look out. And my main building. That would be cool. I wonder how far into the water I can build. Put this here. Six to fix. See the little plus sign when you hit it. Ooh. Destruct target object or repair the door frame. That's cool. All right, let's get this place built up a little bit. I think I'm going to have too many walls. You know what? I've got 43 points available. Let's let's get some additional pieces out here. I'm not going to do a second floor, not on a 4x4. Four four. The we used to grind resources into new substances. Probably a good idea. Created from sand and ash into a mortar. 25 left. Should I get more clothing items? Bandages might be good to heal. Sulfur, inedible. Alchemical cauldron. <gasps> Redberry paste. Oh, places down in front of certain plant eating dinosaurs to start taming them. I'm doing that because that is going to be the first thing we do next episode. For now, I'm going to go ahead and call it here while I continue figuring this out. 
to everybody who's taken a moment to like subscribe or leave a comment on one of my videos thank you guys so much i can't tell you how much i appreciate it to anybody that's new if you liked the video go ahead and hit that like button and if you want to see more hit the subscribe button i do post videos every thursday saturday and monday 12 p.m pst i am west coast thank you guys so much and until next time bye